teaching platform. This is Mr. Mlonga, aka the teacher. My pupils calls me the teacher. We are here to do mathematics indeed. Be ready for the lesson that is coming forth. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. <laughs> This question is coming from a topic called vectors. In the diagram below, OA is equal to vector A. This is how we denote a vector A. There must be a dash there. You write a small letter, then you put a dash. Then OA, you have this arrow, which shows that you are starting from point O to A. The movement is from O to A. Then this OA is equal to that A. When it comes to OB, OB is equal to vector B. So movement from O to B is equal to that vector B, which is this one. Just like OA, the movement from O to A is equal to that vector A. As you can see, even in this case, there is this arrow which is pointing from O to A. So this is our direction. And this is our direction there. Then, AC to CB is equal to 1 to 2. Though in fraction form, these are ratios. This means that AC, we are talking about AC, it corresponds to that one. Then CB, CB corresponds to that too. So in terms of ratios, from A to B, you have to say 1 plus 2. From A to C, it's just that one. From C to B, it's just that two. Express in terms of A and or B, A, B. So we start with A, B. If we have to express that, I've decided to write on a plain paper. First of all, we come up with a formula. Because this has to be a movement from A to B. You are moving from this A to that B. But in vectors, we do not use shortcuts. And you can move from A, you come to O. From O, you can go to B. So that one is going to be our formula. We say AB is equal to AO plus OB. Then at this point, you can substitute. To substitute, AO is equal to, there's a vector there. But looking at what we have, the direction of the arrow is in this direction. Then as we are moving from a to O. So we are moving against the arrow. When you're moving against the arrow, what do you do? You actually put a negative on the vector. So this is going to be equal to AO is negative vector A. Then plus OB. OB, we are moving in the same direction with the arrow. Hence, there's no need to put a negative. So it will just be B like that. After doing that, you can now consider that this is a negative vector, this is a positive vector. It's important that as a mathematician, you start with a positive one. So B minus A. This is going to be our answer. So AC, we have already found A, B. It's there, which is this one. Then AC, in terms of the ratios, we have the ratios corresponding to AC and CB. So we have to consider this part, this part here. What do we do? We say AC, which is going to be our number B. Number B. So for B, we want to find AC. A, C, vector AC is equal to. When you look at AC, it's on the line AB, and then this AC has a ratio of 1. So we write AC as a ratio, A, C, over. We have two ratios on the same line there. That is A, C itself. So we write the A, C itself as a ratio plus. The other ratio is C, B. So we write C, B, then times the vector on which it is. In this case, what is that vector? The vector is AB, or the line on which it is, is AB. So we'll put AB as a vector there. So then, these here, these are ratios, but this is a vector, of which the vector AB has been found, it's there. 
So it's just a matter of substitution. We say this is now going to be equal to AC. What is AC? According to what we have here, AC corresponds to that one. So put 1 then over. This AC is 1 plus CB. CB is that 2. So plus 2 then times Z. The vector AB. The vector AB is this one here. So I'll just pick B minus A. B minus A. Like that. Do not forget the dashes to show that you are dealing with vectors. Then this is going to be equal to 1 over 3. Open bracket B minus A. Sorry. This is B minus A like that. This is minus B minus A like that. Then after doing this you can open the brackets you're going to have this is going to be equal to 1 over 3 vector b minus 1 over 3 vector a this is going to be the answer for ac so we have a b and we also have ac <laughs>
of OC. Our OC is this, but we can pick this one which is not yet factorized. Hence, we are going to have a 2 over 3a, then plus 1 over 3b, like that. When that is done. You can open the bracket through multiplication. So to do that, you're going to have this is going to now be equal to this negative a half times that. We can consider cancelling this, but let us just move like the way it is. We say 1 times a 2 a, it will give you plus 2 over 6 a in this case, because this one will go with that. You have this, then 2 times 3 will give you that 6, then plus. The same should be multiplied to that 1 times 1b, it will give you 1, uh, 1b. Then 2 times 3 will give you a 6. So of a 6, then a b there. At this point, you can consider that these are actually like terms, and they are collected already. Hence, you can say this is now going to be equal to 6 times a. That is a negative a, so it will be a negative 6a. Then plus 2 a over 6 plus 1 over 6 b like that when that is done these are like terms and they can be subtracted just like the way they are negative 6 a plus 2 a will give you a positive sorry it will give you a negative 4 a over 6 then plus there 1 over 6 b like that we have to use another paper then this is a continuation it means what are we going to have in this case we we'll actually have these can be written with you start with a positive you have 1 over 6 b then minus 4 over 6 a a like that there's something common here 1 over 6 is common so you can write this is going to be equal to 1 over 6, then open brackets, b as a vector, minus 4, a as a vector, like that. If this is not similar to what we are looking for, then we have to revisit our work. So let's compare. 1 over 6 is the same thing that we have here. b is the same thing that we have here. Negative 4, a is the same thing that we have here. Hence, shown. We have shown what they wanted us to show.